go around all the MLS franchises that are currently playing in Major League Soccer, there are very few, if any, and I would say Seattle, Portland, Vancouver, that have a history already built in. The only thing this city needs is a professional team playing at the highest level with a soccer-specific stadium. The history that this city has, the infrastructure of the youth game, the knowledge and the intelligence of the fan, this city has everything but the final piece. And I'll say that, I'm gonna say this today at Ballpark Village, this city will be left behind if this doesn't go through. That's fact, not opinion. And yet, I look at this city for what it's done, and whether it's the Dan Flynn's and Tim Twelman's generation that have come all the way down, every single generation in this room, the soccer ball has been a part of it. Yet, we're gonna look back, 2022, 2032, if MLS isn't here, I just, I have a bad feeling that the history and the infrastructure that is already set up for this to be a home run will be lost. And how young the city is, that's what St. Louis needs. And listen, I, the Rams left, so what? Take a hike, who cares? The fact is, soccer is so much younger than anyone realizes. And I come from a baseball family. Bill McDermott would tell you. My grandfather played for the Browns. I'm a baseball family through and through. I've got uncles talking about MLS. I've got uncles because their kids, their nephews, their nieces, they all play the sport of soccer. And yet, I don't want St. Louis, downtown St. Louis, to be a city where you get in a car, go to a Cardinals game, go to a Blues game, and leave. That's got to change. And a way to change that is you become more progressive, you become younger, and the one way to become younger, and we can talk taxes and all that, they, the numbers prove, so there's more money for the city, fine. We need people coming to St. Louis. I wanna fly over the arch, see the lights on, US Honduras, World Cup qualifier, winner of that game qualifies for the 22 World Cup. I guarantee you that will happen here. But it can't happen if we don't have a stadium, it can happen if the stadium's not under the arch, and it can happen unless everyone that has a chance to vote gets off their rear ends and doesn't assume this is gonna happen. And if they show up, I guarantee you this 50, 60, 70, 80 years down the road, we'll all look back on this and say the same way all of us in this room, if I bring up the Cardinals, we all have a St. Louis Cardinals story. If I bring up the Blues, we all have a Blues story. I promise you on my life that we will have St. Louis SC stories in that stadium for our kids and our generation. I should have scored a goal in front of a home crowd in St. Louis. I was never given an opportunity. I think it's time that all of us that have a soccer history, we educate and support the heck out of this and tell people to vote. Don Garber's here for one reason, because he knows that this city is a home run. He's not gonna say, because he can't, I will. This is a home run. And until we really do this, then we're all just gonna be, well, the 1950 World Cup team was full of St. Louis players. SLU versus SIU Edwardsville. I'm tired of that. We got too many good players in the city. We've got a city that will support it. It's a home run. But you moved here, right? We need more people like you to move here, to stay here, to stay in this downtown. That's what we need. That's what St. Louis needs. And all this negative talk about the Rams leaving, okay, so what? Let's rebuild it. Let's rebuild this city. In the one way that I've seen, Orlando City, I can't, Guys, that's college football country. No one in Orlando. You would have told me five years ago, and Don probably did. I, Don, you're full of it. This year, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Jose, St. Louis needs a rebirth, and the quickest way to do this is, one, we're going to generate more tax money and all that. Fine. Is to get younger and to make people go downtown. I talked to my parents that have been here for 40 years. How often do you go downtown? Well, is the car are the Cardinals playing? we got to stop that. We need a game Saturday at 1 o'clock. The game's Sunday at 7 o'clock, and that entire weekend, downtown St. Louis is full of everyone, county people, foreigners, it doesn't matter, coming in, building an infrastructure in downtown St. Louis. We don't have that. And every other, if we're talking about Austin, Texas, come on. This is St. Louis, Missouri. We need people to stay here. We need people to come here. And unless we do this, then all I'm going to be talking about is St. Louis U High versus Chaminade, which, by the way, I scored a lot of goals against Chaminade, but that's besides the point. I think, I think we're tired of that. The one lesson I learned was we always had more questions for Taylor. <laughs>